Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request, RPG Maker MV Tutorial for Nameless Man 05. And he says, hey Drifty, I'm wondering if you can help me. Is there a way to make it so when an actor's TP reaches 100, the attack command is replaced by a special ability? Absolutely, Nameless Man. This is a really easy thing to do, but you need a plugin for it. It's by Yanfly the Amazing. It's called YEP underscore Weapon Unleash. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can quickly download that plugin. And uh, you want to put it, if you have many plugins like I do, uh, you'll see the ones that I have. Um, you can pause the video if you want to, but basically you want to have it somewhere in the middle. It'll be underneath the Equip Core and uh, directly under Weapon Animation, but above all the Status Menu uh, plugins. Okay, moving on. So this, you don't need to really do anything with this plugin as for the parameters you put it in. Make sure you uh, put it in the right spot, basically. Go to the help file, and you're going to scroll down to the bottom. And you'll see everything you can do with this plugin in the help file. But what we're going to be doing is a custom replace attack note tag. So if you want to put this on a specific weapon, you can do that so that you, you, uh, you're not limited to just picking one skill. Uh, you can put it on any of these locations, in the actor, the class, the enemy, the weapon, the armor, or the state note tags, but basically just copy-paste this. Actually, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can just copy-paste the, the final product of what we're going to make. Um, so you'll get this right here. What we're going to do is put that somewhere. Uh, in this instance, I've put it on the actor because I'm specifying whenever this actor has uh, 100 or more TP, then we're going to replace his regular attack with the attack that's in ID number 8. So what does that mean? If we go over to our skills, and we go to our skill number 8, we see the I win button. And this is going to cost 100 TP, and it's sort of important that you put 100 TP cost on the skill that you're going to replace your your max TP move with. Otherwise, once you get 100 TP, you can just spam your ultimate move, right? So you want to put 100 TP cost, or at least some TP cost, on your skill that you're going to be replacing your basic attack with. So once you use that skill, your TP goes back down to the way it was, and you no longer uh, have that skill. So... We've got custom replace attack, there's our note tag, and we're saying if the user's TP is greater than or equal to 100, then we're going to change our weapon to number 8, and that's all there is to it. If you want, you can even do an else if uh, user.tp is greater than, or oh, let's see, is greater than or equal to 75, then you can do another skill. So you can specify uh, if you have, you know, 75 to 99 TP, then you can have a certain skill, ID equals 7. So then we would get uh, weight was not going to be a great skill, but you can put in whatever skill you want right here. You see what we're doing right here. So you can, you can make it uh, multiple different ways. Uh, if you have a certain amount of TP, you, you unlock this skill. If you get to 100, then you get that skill. Uh, for this uh, instance, though, we're just going to do the what you, asked, uh, what you asked for, which is just if they have 100, change it to a skill, and that's it. Uh, what you can also do is put this same com uh, code inside of a weapon. So you just take the code you created, put it inside this note tag, and so if the player is wielding this weapon, then it'll have uh, a certain weapon skill when he gets 100. But say he has the, a dagger, you can make it a completely different skill that the player gets at 100. But keep in mind that this one will overwrite the other two. So if you want to put this on weapons, you need to remove it from the actor itself. All right, let's take a look about uh, in-game to check out how it works and how it looks. All right, let's check out our weapon. I made a special weapon just for this to give me a lot of agility so that uh, because I'm using CTB, I'll have more turns 
so that we don't just die here. So you can see we have a basic attack. And if I attack the go goblin sharpshooter, we have our normal attack. But if we use an item that gives us TP and fills up our TP bar, you'll notice that our basic attack, whenever we get our turn, has been replaced with the skill that we've set for ID number 8. So the I win button is now here instead of attack. So let's use the I win button. Boom. There we go. And now our TP should be zero because, yeah, because we put a cost on our skill that puts our TP back to zero and our regular attack has been put back to where it's at. So we have our regular attack, but if for whatever reason, when we fill up our TP to 100, our weapon skill, our normal attack becomes a different skill that you specify. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Nameless Man, hopefully this quick little tutorial helps you figure out how to do it. Get the plug in. Um, you're going to need Yanfly's core engine as well, and you're going to need the, the Weapon Unleashed plugin. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. All of that stuff is very appreciated. If you want to get more involved with the community and you want to hook up with some people who are interested in the things that you're interested in, you want to uh, make a game with somebody, go to driftwoodgaming.com. Join the forums there and uh, start making the game of your dreams with a team of people uh, and everybody could specify uh, what they want to do. But anyway, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but networking is a great thing to do. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Thank you for being awesome, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.